threatened to force an in-person vote, prompting anger on both sides of the aisle. Let's bring in New York Congressman Max Rose. He's a Democrat. Congressman, thanks for coming in. Hey, thank you so much for having me. I hope you and your family are staying safe. We are, and I hope the same of you and all of your colleagues you. on both sides of the aisle. Can you give me a read on where we are? We understand Thomas Massey, this Republican, who may hold things up a bit longer, although sure. we still expect final passage at some point, um, is on the House floor weighing his options. He's a libertarian who is not happy about some of the spending items in here. Yeah. So let, let me take a moment and talk about Thomas Massey, because I don't take his actions or his threats so lightly. Every single day, uh, constituents of mine, residents of my district, Staten Island and South Brooklyn, are dying. We see New York City, New York State, the epicenter of this crisis, and that crisis will move on to other places in America. We have never seen a threat like this. So, Thomas Massey, this is disgusting. This is inhumane. You aren't a libertarian. You're un-American. If we push this back 24 hours, there will be blood on Thomas Massey's hands. Anyone else who steps in the way of this, blood on their hands. We've got to get the money out into mm -hmm. hospitals' pockets, PPE for our first responders. Action is needed. Okay, I understand your frustration, and New York City is particularly hard hit, but I think questioning his patriotism, calling him un-American, uh, is something that I'm sure Thomas Massey will have a chance to respond to. Good. In the meantime, um, you're questioning Thomas Massey, and rightly so. Why is he holding this up? Well, I've got a question for you, and it comes from a Democrat. Please. It's Andrew Cuomo. Here he is yesterday.